special event coming up and want to temporarily cover up scars or veins, Chelsea Bice has the techniques you need to get flawless coverage. When I say flawless, I mean flawless. Flawless. Right? And I'm just so passionate to talk about this product. If one person today learns that body makeup is an option for them, yes. I'm happy because they don't really know that it's a thing yeah. and that they don't have to just live with these concerns and there's there's things that can hide it. And That's right. so easy, looks natural, mm -hmm. uh, lots of shades to choose from, so I'm really happy to be here to uh, show this today. And it's not going to, because some people are worried it's going to rub off by the end of the night. We're going to show we're gonna you show you. We're going to show you how to avoid that. Yeah, It'll perfect. stay. So the product that I'm using is created by a dermatologist. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of history on why this product came to be mm -hmm. is that, you know, um, the doctor was saying, sometimes I have patients, it's a birthmark or right. pigmentation. There's not just a cream you can put that's going to take that away or sometimes there isn't a treatment option. Yeah. So he said, you know, it makes me so upset when I can't offer them something. There's always makeup. You know, people are coming to body makeup for veins, mm -hmm. uh, tattoo coverage, mm -hmm. bruises, which I think the last time that I was here, you had a photo shoot for I the did. Grammys. I had a photo shoot for the Grammys and I'd gone hard on uh, <laughs> box jumps at the gym. Uh, when I started getting tired, fell, skinned my shin. And you you gave me the makeup to paint them. Paint yeah. them. You couldn't see anything. You couldn't see any scar at all. Yeah, so it's you amazing. Know, it's, you never know what kind of situation you're going to need body makeup, right? Yeah. And it shows too. There's um, shades for you, shades for me, yes. and you're going to see with all of our models today. Yes. So let's start with the number one concern, the reason why people come to body makeup the most. Yeah. Varicose veins. It's varicose veins. It's so this is our model, veins. Diane, and um, you have done an incredible job covering. You'll see the before and the after here um, on the legs. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's warmer. There's coverage. You don't see any of those uh, And even inside, blue spots. you know, she's got like... Yes. And what you'll notice, too, is I went with the shade a little bit deeper. Yeah. Um, to give almost like a self-tanner effect. Right. Right? And also, the, the darker color will hide texture a little bit more. Uh, right, you know when we when we, like when we darker, tan. it conceals, yes. it concedes, and brighter makes things come forward. Right. So you know, for me, it's women. They're not wanting to wear a dress, a skirt, right. a bathing suit. Yeah, is a big one, right? Yes. So a big question when I say bathing suit <laughs> you can't you can't go in the water can you so when the product launched was also my first question because yeah. i'm like this is when it really elevates to a life changer yeah. so i had to know right away uh -huh. i brought it with me on vacation yeah i put it on and you know i'm like it's the last day i'm never going to see these people again so i'm going to go in the pool <laughs> if something happens so i was afraid i'm going to step into the pool and, the and this going to be brown yeah it's going to appear around me Nothing happened. So I'm going to show you here. Just you know, say where my, put my money where my mouth is. Yeah, is that right? The money and mouth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. mouth money. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. we're going to spray with the water here, and I'm going to show you. So the tr trick is to pat it to dry. Okay. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Hold that up. Hold that up. There's absolutely nothing on the tissue. Yeah. Okay. okay. Perfect. Submerged in water, Charles. I'm telling you, try okay. it for yourself. Okay. So, All right, so this is Alex now. So it, it, there's a different skin issue here? Yes, which is quite common. You know, as much as people have acne on their face that yeah. they would like to conceal, the same for the chest, the shoulders. Yes and the back. Oh, the back, And okay. so for me, you know, I do a lot of bridal makeup. Yes. And I always found girls, you know, it's 30 degrees, hot and humid, and they're wanting to wear their hair down. Right. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, why don't you wear it up? It would be cooler, it will last longer. I said, because I'm worried, I'm self-conscious about. Oh, they don't about. want to show their back. So okay. we've done, I think you can see there, the half and half. Oh, yes. Right? Okay, so yeah. half has been done, <laughs> half has <is> not. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like, That's really good. And so natural looking, That's right? really good. So a tip here, yeah. um, obviously you got to train someone in your family when it's to on do the it. This is, yes. yes, for sure. But if you have the areas that need a little bit more coverage, I always recommend it's a padding, a tapping motion okay. to build up more coverage. Right. Okay, got so it. you can really see that. And you set it. Set it. And that we're going to show now. Live. Okay. Let's All go right. to an application. Okay, let's do that right now. Okay. Uh, we have Natalie here. Um, and so the issues here are a little bit different when it comes to skin. And you're going to show a couple of things how to put it on, how to take it off. Yes. Okay. So, first of all, Natalie also has a very common concern, which is called keratosis pilaris. Okay. Uh, very commonly found in women mm -hmm. um, over the ages of 30. You start to see it show up. Yeah. Um, and it's seen on the top of the arms and the thighs. Yeah. So, it's a little bit of the red 
bumping that takes place there. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. quite common. Um, and why this happens is that keratin is a protein within our skin mm -hmm. and it naturally just builds up and blocks the hair follicle. Okay. So the unfortunate thing about keratosis pilaris, or KP is what it's called, yeah. is that you can't cure it. Okay. You can minimize it, mm -hmm. um, but you can't, it'll never it's go gonna away. It's gonna be there. It's gonna go away. It, it's, it's always gonna, gonna be, be there. there. Yeah. yeah. So um, we're gonna show you how we covered it right so easily. Okay. So taking the body makeup here, um, the trick for the application technique is that you always want to apply mm -hmm. in a downward motion. Oh really? Okay? okay. So the reason we go in a downward motion is if there's hair. Okay. So say oh, we have hair true. on the body. Yeah. Okay, so just applying, and like, look at, oh, thank you for that. No problem. Um, and you know, with Natalie, she said something very interesting that I think a lot of women can relate to. She said, I'm a slave to sleeves. Oh, <laughs> she always has to wear I'm them. I'm always wearing sleeves, right? Yeah. So you can see, like, I'm just applying that layer. She wants layer. to throw a tank top on. It's gonna get hot, right? And it's just disappearing. Yeah. Okay, so now the key to success, you know, as we showed you with Diane, how it didn't come off with the water, mm -hmm. and you wanna make sure it's lasting, really important here, that we're setting it with the setting powder. And show okay? us how to set it the right way. So, so you're being liberal with it? Liberal with it. Uh, the powder is white, translucent, so you don't have to worry that that's gonna be, so sorry, I got some powder on her shirt. But we're gonna fix her up during the commercial the shirt break, will, it's fine. The powder will dust right off, no yeah. problem. It's important you get the powder on so that you don't get the makeup on. Right. Your clothes, okay? So that's the idea here. The technique is called baking and we're gonna let that sit Right. for a couple of minutes. It's okay? kind of bakey bake. So now, just to really show you again, the before and after, we're gonna remove the arm that Natalie already had yeah. with the Makeup Dissolver. Cause that's a question that people ask me a lot too is, well, how does it come off? Right. Right, you know, so Hold it's on important. one second, I just oh, yeah. wanna see. Okay, go ahead, go, go ahead. for it. Okay. Um, so it's really important that you get something that will properly, you know, to, it's designed to stay on for 16 hours, smudge, transfer, water resistant. It's not just going to come off with anything, right? So you have to have a very special remover then, um, and this is, you get the remover by the same, like Dermablend yes, has the yes, remover. Yes, of course, yeah. And uh, it's not that is it's it the oil only based? thing. It's a biface, so oil-water mix. Oil-water mix. So this is mix. why it works so easily, but like I'm not rubbing hard. Yeah. It's gone, and you know, we can really see right. that difference That's there. That's amazing. Can you use it just for regular makeup? So we have a face product, yes. and then this one is specially designed for the body, because on your body you don't have the same sebaceous or oil glands right. and hair and different texture of your skin, yeah. so it's more um, hydrating. Yes, Chels, thank you so much for that.